Hello everybody, Marisha Ray here with Mingle Media TV's Red Carpet Report, and we are at the Secret Room Gifting Suite. And you won't believe the people who are here. Some fun stuff, let's go check it out. All right guys, I'm here with Lisa Lapira. Now you have a new show coming out on ABC, correct? Tell us a little bit about it. Wait, first of all, let me uncross my arm. I'm very close to Yo, you. Yeah, right open now. up. Open up, you know. Be vulnerable and open. Exactly. It's called Apartment 23. It's on ABC. Uh, actually, no, it's called Don't Trust the B I T C H on Apartment 23. Okay. And when is that coming out? When I can we look say for that? January 3rd ish time, mid season. I don't know why I'm looking at you to, to verify my answers. Is it? Yeah, he said yes. JD knows everything, actually. Okay. Con yeah, he, um, yes. So it, that's perfectly acceptable. It's like you knew. How are we going to do when we premiere in January? on ABC. Well, yeah. He's very like Jeff Ross and Conan. He's good. It's going to be yeah. good. It's going to be good. He's my yes man. Yeah. I can see. I have a pocket sized version of him that I take everywhere. And whenever I feel doubtful, I just pull him out and exactly. And then I'm like, hey, you. right. He's like my lucky eight ball, but JD. Wow, we're ripping on him. Okay. No, it's okay. He's fine. So tell us Let's a little bit more. Yeah. Yes. Um, Apartment 23. Right. What was it kind of about? <laughs> Um, it's called, uh, so it's called Don't Trust the Bitch in Apartment 23. It's about the, it's kind of like an edgy female odd couple. She's a New York okay. party girl with the morals of a pirate. She, her scam is she has a great apartment and she gets like these newbies through Craigslist and then takes all their, their first and last month's rent, takes their money and then kicks them out. Wow. And then Dreama Walker plays like the one girl, like clean cut girl from the Midwest who fights back and... Hilarity ensues, and James Vanderbeek, Labique so chic, we refer to him in the script, uh, plays her best friend, uh, Kristen Ritter, the main character, Chloe's best friend. She's like a fabulous New York girl. She's TV star friends. She's a fabulous apartment. She's like the girl you want to be friends with. I see. But but I'm the crazy neighbor, and I warn people, you know, don't trust the bitch in apartment 23. Gotcha, gotcha. What did you have to do to tap into that crazy neighbor side? Um. Uh, well, I tapped into having a crazy roommate I see. like that. That was very easy to recall in my past. I think I think everyone has the crazy roommate. That is one thing that I think all of society can relate to. What the did crazy yours roommate. Do? Tell me what yours did. She was disgusting and she was kind of a hoe. Yes, and whole bag, whole baggery whole is a thing. I know, cause then, cause then you have to wake up and there are dudes in the and dudes that you don't know, and neither does she. Yeah, in your apartment. Yes, that's what mine did. She I was know. like, "Listen, I'm going out of town for two weeks. This guy that I slept with once sent me a text that he's homeless. So can he stay in my room?" And I, <laughs> I, I, before I answered, he was there was random dude staying in a room. Right, exactly. I have a okay. I have a friend of mine. Last roommate story. Her, <laughs> she was living with three girls. One girl, the one crazy girl, poisoned this, the middle girl. Like rat poison. <laughs> Look at your face. What? <laughs> she put, it was college. That third girl was obsessed with that middle girl. Yeah. My friend was always out with her boyfriend, so she did not drink the rat poison. She was safe. But the middle girl was there, and there was lots of tension. And that middle girl kept, like, getting sick. And then when she went home, she went to the doctor, and her organs were collapsing oh my god and they were like you've been poisoned that's some like single white female shit going that on is. wow back to apartment 23 back to apartment 23 you had a lot that's, to pull from yes clearly so, so that, fantastic i just pretend place my my you know put my feet in the shoes of of single white female like right. crazy girl because i'm the crazy neighbor but i was i'm kind of obsessed with her like i hate her but i also want to be her i see i'm that girl interesting yeah. Well, I'm I'm excited for this. Yeah, it's kind of funny. It's not kind of funny. It's funny. It's right. um, it's a lot of writers from American Dad, so it's like that edgy. It's gotcha. Very, it's wrong on on ABC. Mm -hmm. This, I'm so excited. Do you have anything else coming up that we need to look out for? Um, I have past tense stuff like Crazy Stupid Love. That's no, that's kind of in the theaters. It's on its way out. Right. So you, if you hurry, you can see it or I don't know Netflix it. What do the kids do? Way two months, look, right. yeah. Your validating genie just spoke up and said, <laughs> wait two months and get it on DVD. Exactly, there you go. Um, so then there's that, yeah, I think that it's Crazy Stupid Love and that. Right, yeah, I was saying I'm, I'm a huge fan of 21. Yay. That was my favorite. Yay. That was a good movie. Was fun to make, thank you. Yeah. Did, did you guys shoot on location in Vegas oh, for that? Yeah. That's hence the fun to make, yeah. It was a bunch of 
actor people yeah. running around Vegas with per diem. What do you think happened for like a month? What right. do you think happened? And food and alcohol run plentiful. Alcohol and Did lots of Did you even have to gambling. use your per diem? Like for use it, lost it, it's all the same. Really? Right. Um, lots of research, lots of counting cards for research. Yeah. yeah. So did you learn how to count I did. cards? I did. Yeah, are you pretty good or? I, I was good, but apparently I was moving my mouth when I did it. So, I was, <laughs> so the, the dealer was like, I see you counting. counting. We're at plus eight. Stop moving, <laughs> stop moving your mouth, you stupid, wow. silly girl. Yeah. <laughs> did you win any money counting cards? Um, was it successful? No, or? it was very, very obvious. And yeah. one of the things we learned was even with a positive, even with a good count, it doesn't help you that much. You right. really have to do it 24 hours. Right. You have yeah. to be one of those people. That's, that's pretty intense. Yeah. It's pretty rad. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. Enjoy the gifting suite. I will. Let me know what's good. Yeah. Oh, you let me know what's good because you know everything. Yeah, exactly. My walking iPhone. Well, how many kids am I going to have? Am I going to have a boy or a girl? All right, I'm leaving. Goodbye. Okay. <laughs> Apartment 23. Check it out on ABC.